So before we see the various harvesting methods, let us see the different reasons for water crisis. First thing is loss of visitation cover. Loss of visitation cover. Visitation cover helps water to recharge. So the groundwater is recharged by vegetation cover. If the land is covered by grass, so by that the roots of the grass, they hold much soil and the soil can hold much water. So the water holding capacity is more. So by that the water is reaching the ground and the level of underground water increases. So loss of vegetation is one reason for water crisis. The second one is diversion of water for water demand demanding crops. Let us take rice, sugar cane. So these are the crops that need lot of water to grow. So in some places the water is diverted to the, the crops which take lot of water. So in that cases the other people, the other places may not get proper, no equitable distribution of water. And third one is pollution releasing effluents, wastes into the water also one of the problem for the water crisis. Now let us see, so these are the various reasons and as I told you before, the local water management was not there. People are totally forgot the local management of their local wa water bodies. So recently we see in the state Telangana, so there is a program called as Mission Kakatiya. If we see that in the state of Telangana, so the government has taken the initiation of repairing the water bodies, tanks in the villages. So by that they can harvest the water. So you see these kind of activities were done during the period of kings and in their kingdoms they have taken every step, every measure to maintain these tanks, wells and other ponds, lakes, all the water bodies are well maintained. So by that they can harvest the natural water that is the rain water. But that is after the entry of the British the scenario changed as I have explained uh, earlier. So they started constructing big dams. The people, they have come to a conclusion that okay, maintenance of water bodies is not our duty and that is the duty of the government. So the government has taken the responsibility of building big dams and providing the water. So channelizing the water, water supplied through irrigation canals and all this has come. So people totally neglected the local water bodies. So it led to water crisis. Now let us see dams, okay, the British or the present government or the independent India, the government has built up so many dams. Now, now let us see whether these dams have solved this problem or not. They have constructed so many dams, but still there is a problem for water. Why? What are the issues that are linked up with these dams? One major thing is no equitable distribution of water. A dam is constructed at one place, so the water is channelized. To which areas these channels reach, that crops and that farmers will be happy, they will get the water. But there are some places which are far away from this dam, far away from the canals, they do not get any water. So no equitable distribution, the water is not properly rationally distributed, that is not possible here. So some people get so many benefits, some people get problem. They don't get sufficient amount of water. So the government takes, it tells, it gives reasons, okay, you are in far away place and your place we cannot, the water can be supplied. You are at some height, higher place, higher than the level of the water flow. So you need to have uh, some kind of lift irrigation to supply. It costs crores of rupees. So the government cannot supply, provide water to certain areas because they are in higher level. So in this way, there are so many problems linked up, which causes the unequal distribution of water. So that is what happened in Indira Gandhi canal in Rajasthan. So here the dam, it can bring granary to certain parts of Rajasthan, but whereas in other places, some places there is no proper distribution of water. So this is what happens. And one more issue linked up with the construction of the dams is that evacuation of the area. Many people are living in that particular area are evacuated because to construct the uh, dam they need very large area. So in this case they have to evacuate certain villages. Now present at present we can see the issue with Polavaram in Andhra Pradesh state. So they are going to construct a Polavaram dam. 
So for this Polavaram Dam, they are going to evacuate certain villages. So what happens to these villagers? They will be given some promises that if they give their land, houses, their village, if they leave their village, so we will be providing you housing, we will be providing you this and that and this. The government make promises. But how far these promises are fulfilled, that is the another social issue linked up with. And how far it is good. In some cases while constructing the dams or reservoirs, these kind of uh, projects, then they will be evacuating at the same time they will be removing certain forest area. The forest area also will be submerged by water. So it leads to loss of diversity. Many animals become extinct or they may disappear from that area. So that is all happens because of this. So, so many issues are linked up with this. That is construction of big dams, huge project. So here we have to think that will this bring a permanent solution? Will it be a permanent solution? Will these dams and projects supply water to each and everybody? Will they cater the needs of each and every farmer? Will they cater the needs of domestic needs of water in each and every household? That has to be discussed here. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up. Please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on CBSE syllabus.